The Purple Heart is a military decoration awarded by the President of the United States to those wounded or killed while in combat. It is the oldest military award still given to U.S. military members. The original Purple Heart was established by George Washington and was named the Badge of Military Merit. It was awarded to only three Revolutionary War soldiers. Beginning in 1917, when the U.S. entered World War I, soldiers were once again recognized for their sacrifices. But the Purple Heart Medal as we know it today was not given. Although the award was never abolished, it was not given again for over 150 years in 1932 in honor of the 200th anniversary of George Washington's birthday. And in the last 100 years, there have been nearly 2 million Purple Hearts awarded. My name is Gordon James Nelson. I uh, was drafted in 1968 and I got out in 1970. Arden Spory, um, October 27th of 67 to May of 69. My name is Arlen Olson. Uh, I actually went into service Jan uh, August of 67 and served till 1970. I uh, went into Vietnam, went over to Vietnam January 7th to 68 and was wounded September 26th of 68. My name is David John Myers. I served in the Army from 1967 to 1970. I didn't get no break. It was from the January 16th to January 16th of them three years. Richard D. Landy, 1968 to 1970. Al Holton. I served from June 1968 through June 1999. The Purple Heart is a medal no soldier wants to return home with, but unfortunately some do. For every veteran who is given the Purple Heart, it is very significant to them. Let's hear some of the reasons why. Well, I was with my team. We were uh, what they call in front of the companies. We were point men and we were also recon teams. I was a sergeant in it. And we were looking for the enemy. And uh, when I got hit, the, the guy threw a grenade at me. We didn't see him. He, we walked into a U-shaped ambush. And when I got hit, three of my guys got killed immediately. We were only five of us. And the company was back there, so. Then the radio man was screaming his eye was on his cheek. And I'm looking back and I'm thinking, this is not good. I mean, we're all down three are dead already and uh, the reason I, I, I got the Purple Heart for that I got hit with a grenade my legs blew out my ears so I couldn't hear nothing and I lived through that and the guy that went to Japan with me died so I mean it means a lot to me I lost four of my guys in the last firefight I was in so I was a lucky one well significant to me is it's something it's actually a medal I, I doubt if any of us ever would like to have gotten. But being we did get it, you know, we all, we all, uh, we honor it because there's guys that didn't come back. So that's probably where I honor it the most, respecting them guys that didn't make it. As far as my Purple Heart, when I got out, I was actually given the Purple Heart in Thompson Hood Air Base in the hospital when I was, I was wounded. I was burnt, burnt during a, fi a firefight. And so I assumed I had the Purple Heart, which I did have, and I had the documentation on my, uh, signed by the President of the United States. But it wasn't on my DD-214, so when I got out and I was going to join the Purple Heart, I went on here to Chapter 5555. According to the Army, I'd never been wounded. So I went through a bunch of paperwork and was getting nowhere. I actually got uh, a representative from Minnesota here, uh, Tim Wallace involved, to get the Purple Heart. So that that even made it more uh, for me because it took so much work to get it after I even did have it. Um, it's significant to me, uh, not only to me, but my other comrades on the blood that was given for this country fighting in war. Well, it identifies those that have, I guess you've seen the slogan that says that all have given some and some gave all. And I think that kind of identifies those people and it's just a way of identifying those that have been wounded. It's significant to me 
because we are so few. Um, we give we give our all, um, um, and we really we really did it. We was in combat. We got hurt and awarded this uh, great medal. Over the last few years, the Military Order of the Purple Heart, Chapter 5555, in Winona, Minnesota, planned, organized, and raised funds for the construction of a beautiful monument to honor all Purple Heart recipients. The monument was erected in 2015 and is located in the Veterans Memorial Park along with all the other monuments from the major wars. It's very, very nice. It's, it's shows, you know, that uh, how it's changed since we come back to Vietnam, that people actually appreciate the Vietnam veterans, or the, the past didn't seem like it did, because there was so much anti-war movement. You can't say a different word other than awesome. Oh, nice. Beautiful. Yeah. That one we got in the park there? Yeah. Yeah, it's gorgeous. Absolutely awesome. We've got a lot of hours involved in making sure I came here, all, the whole group actually. Uh, actually, our, our former commander, Dick Landy, is the one that got us started. And, uh, and then after he decided not to become, you know, state commander, we pursued it and, and we got it in there. And it's, it's actually an honor because I think it's probably the only one like this in the state of Minnesota.